Tom Lennon, who's the executive director of the World Swimming Coaches Association, said it's disturbing and it's unbelievable. Uh, if you look at the history of our sport, it will tell you that every time you see something unbelievable, it turns out later to be doping. She looked like Superwoman in our sport. When they look like Superwoman, it turns out later they are found guilty. And uh, if the Chinese are a little upset and miffed, at the whispers well you know they kind of have their own reputation to blame because in the 90s uh, 40 swimmers tested positive and before Beijing seven tested positive and just a month ago uh, uh, Zhe Zhi, Li Zhe Zhi tested positive for EPO and she was just 16 and that just goes to show that if there is a program there uh, they have no doubt to putting about putting children 15 year old teenagers on it but you know she hasn't tested positive for anything. She won the gold medal. It was a fantastic performance. And uh, if there's anything untoward, I'm sure it will be found because they have such a strict doping policy, anti-doping policy here at the Olympics. 6,000 tests will take place over 17 days and they will be able to keep those tests for about eight years. So when it, things become more sophisticated, they will, can go back and test people, but they will be on the lookout for these fabulous performances and, uh, and I'm sure they'll be taking steps to make sure that there's, uh, there's nothing untoward in it.